I do think it's a cool experiment. Oh, it's so cute! Yeah, the macro and vertebrate. <laughs> you get to see how everything sort of relies on each other to live. This is my favorite little book. I think he's my favorite too. The Leaf Pack Network is a school program curriculum that shows students how to gauge the health of regional waterways by analyzing insect life in a local stream, sharing their results with each other, and comparing data to other nearby schools. Studies show that locally based and environment oriented education provides greater opportunities for students to develop math, science, and analytical skills. They have a lot to feed on and there's an abundance of good resources in the stream. The LeafPack experiment has allowed the Stroud Water Research Center to work in partnership with Riverkeeper and Hudson Basin River Watch in promoting good science education in watersheds in New York as well as Pennsylvania. What I love about the LeafPack experiment is it takes the learning out of the classroom and into the field where kids can start to learn about how environmental issues directly affect their communities. One of the missions of Riverkeeper from the beginning is to remind the public that they own this waterway. You own the Hudson River and all the streams going into it. For most of the public, it's the biggest thing they're ever going to own. And one of the things that we try to do with the Leaf Pack is to um, re-educate the public and say, wait a second, this belongs to you. These three organizations dedicated to protecting our water quality are implementing the Leaf Pack Network in schools across our region. Our hope as Hudson Basin River Watch is to be a pilot for the Leaf Pack experiment to expand nationally and throughout the world. The Leaf Pack experiment is an excellent educational tool because it takes kids to their local stream, introduces them to the importance of water quality, and then it helps them make the connection to the whole watershed. Watersheds are parts of the landscape that direct streams, rainwater, and snowmelt to larger bodies of water, such as rivers or lakes. A watershed can be as small as a neighborhood or large enough to extend across states or even countries. Each autumn, leaves falling from trees make their way into streams and rivers. The nutrients in these leaf packs become food for many different organisms, called macroinvertebrates. By carefully observing the numbers and types of macroinvertebrates eating away at the leaf packs, students can measure the health of a stream. Here's how the experiment works. With the leaf pack system, what we're going to do is actually leave packs of leaves in the stream for, for a prolonged period, let's say three weeks and then come back after three weeks and see which macroinvertebrates use the leaves for food. Anybody know what this is? It's a miniature microscope. Okay, it's a miniature microscope. Why would we need a miniature microscope? Why might that come in handy? A macroinvertebrate. So if we have a macroinvertebrate in here, and we want to look at it, we can tell the difference between a stonefly and a mayfly. Now if you look down here, This is the leaf pack right here. You basically take the net and you get dry leaves that have no color that from like last year and you pack them in. And you have to make sure that you get 20 grams. Now exactly at 20. You twist up the top and you tie about four feet of yellow string around. Okay, let's drop it in. And you sort of secure it, just branch or something. Three weeks later, the students retrieve the leaf packs and bring them back to their classrooms. The process that's taking place right now is really the fun part. There's kind of a mystery going on in the stream. The kids get the leaf packs, bring them back to the classroom, and you can't see anything but leaves. But once you empty the leaf pack into the trays and you begin separating them, all of a sudden you start seeing things moving. Uh, I got a, another hoverbite. Uh, yeah. Those are the macroinvertebrates that we're trying to study. That gets their attention. As soon as they begin to see something moving, the lesson is on. But when did this look This is what stoneflies look like. And this looks like a fully grown stonefly because it has all its markings. 
we identify them all and group them according to their taxes, tax one, tax two, and tax three, according to their classification and the number of insects in each one, we can't say how clean or how polluted the stream will be. They've learned something new. They've been out to the stream to experience it. They're back in the classroom. So there's complete ownership that takes place in the lesson. And that's what makes the, the whole process work. Very exciting. By going through the leaf pack experiment, those students are getting a better understanding of the biodiversity, the kinds of organisms that live there. Water quality testing doesn't even give you a good snapshot of the creek. But macroinvertebrate testing does, because the macroinvertebrates who live in the stream have experienced all the pollution that's come down the stream. And their populations, by looking at them closely, have that history written in them. What would you say was the quality of the water based on the macroinvertebrates that we found at the stream? I would say that the water is really clean of the that portion of the stream. Why would that be the case? Yes. Because there was more tax one than any, and there was absolutely no tax three found. Okay. One caddisfly larva. They share that information on the internet with other investigating schools and really share that information with the world. Asking those questions, seeking the information, gathering the data, doing the analysis on those data, and then sharing that information. It's really authentic science. <laughs> We're much more involved and enthusiastic and interested in what goes on now. You know, you can fall asleep reading a textbook, but when you have your hands on bugs and you're identifying them, I think it's a lot of fun. It's a really great learning experience. As these kids, become adults and become decision makers in their community, the more that they know about the connection between local development practices, local land use practices, and the effect on water quality and the health of their streams, the more that they're likely to influence future land use practices. The leaf pack experiment is truly a multidisciplinary approach uh, to education. It's a way of reaching out to kids. It ensures that we will protect the water quality for generations to come.